Hi there, it's Dennis Wilson with Small Business Dream. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of a Twitter rant that I wrote up the other day. Feels to me like Twitter's just gone a bit crazy. Seems like most of the experts have it wrong. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to share it with you. I'm going to read from it. Uh, it's one of my first runs through, but hope you enjoy it as, uh, as much as I enjoyed writing it. So why have the Twitter experts got it all wrong? Uh, well, we've all heard that Twitter is being likened to a cocktail party in which you can mill about and join in on any digital conversation that you feel is interesting. And it might have started out that way. But now it seems that Twitter has turned into a cocktail party in a football stadium during the Super Bowl game. Here's how I see Twitter working if you follow most of the Twitter gurus, Twitter ebook publishers, and self-professed Twitter list building experts. Let's follow through on that cocktail party concept and assume that you're there for the purpose of finding a date, and eventually a girlfriend or boyfriend leading to a husband or wife. The intent seems to have become to say hi to everybody at the party as fast as possible, loosely translated. This equals to randomly follow all of them in as loud a voice as possible, meaning use some automated tool to follow them and try to get a first date with everyone you said hi to within five minutes or get them to follow you back. Is it me? Or does this just seem a little bit delusional? You know nothing about the people you said hi to or followed, nothing about what they are talking about or what they do or what their interests are, nothing about whether or not you have anything in common. You didn't even look at their profile or attached websites, but still you're hoping some of those prospects will immediately agree to a first date due to having such a huge list of people that you know nothing about, but expect them to agree to your first date request, you have no time at all to take the actions you could to actually earn you that first date. You didn't listen to what they were talking about, actually read what they post. You didn't show any interest in them by being interested in anything they said, like something they posted. And you didn't brag about how cool you thought they were or how much you have in common by telling others about them, retweeting a post, or giving them a mention. You then show your impatience by waiting only one day or two with no further communication from you to them before you excommunicate them for not accepting your first date offer. Unfollow. Then you brag about your conquests by advertising to the world how much, how many first dates you've had. I grew by 595 followers today. And of course you keep secret how many never call you back or unfollowed you. As long as you go on enough first dates, you will continue to grow your ever so valuable list of like-minded folks. Noisy, misdirected, misunderstood, and we think even just a little bit rude and it gets worse. So, even though you have such a misguided approach, you managed to find a few to agree to have that first date or they followed you back. So what's next? Of course, even though you don't even know if you like or are interested in them, and they likely have no idea about you as you are both likely following the same misguided technique, you have your robot secretary, auto reply tool, show up for you, direct message, as you are far too busy with your huge list of unqualified date prospects to show up in person to explore the possibilities with the one who said they are interested. If the most common thing to happen, which is your robot secretary or direct message, shows up to find out that they also sent their robot secretary auto-reply to a direct message, versus showing up in person, doesn't happen, there are two ways this seems to go, and the first is almost laughable. Your robot secretary or your direct message sits down, but rather than give you a compliment or engage in a meaningful two-sided conversation to get to know you, you quickly tell your date or follower that they have not connected to you the right way to create the most favorable first impression and you suggest that they reschedule to a different venue, which you conveniently give them the address to, you telling them to follow you on Facebook or Instagram or join your newsletter by the link that you've so graciously included. 
Why wouldn't you just engage with them in the medium they found you on first? Warm them up to you. Then suggest you have other places they can learn more about you after the first date is over or in order to agree to that first date. Twitter recently took the 140 character limit off the direct message feature, for goodness sakes. The second way we are taught to teach our robot secretaries is even more damaging, if that's possible. Your robot secretary sits down at the date and gives a pre-recorded generic message that doesn't acknowledge you even read your potential date's profile or that you learned anything about them, vomiting your information all over them, being convinced that, as a non-curated follower, they're totally into you. Now that is a couple of ways to make a fantastic first impression. <laughs> Let's say you fooled your date. They didn't realize it wasn't you. Or they did, or they knew it wasn't, but actually their intention for meeting you was not to care what you say, but to try to force you to hear what they had to say. So they agreed to a second date. The better robot secretaries will help this. They will automatically follow up with the same equally random off-putting self-promotion a few days later. This usually guarantees your date will stop returning your calls or not read, like, reply, or retweet, or worse yet, excommunicate you or unfollow you. Either way, you're not getting a second date. Welcome to Twitter. Everybody talking at each other instead of with each other and to each other. Now the idea is to get your first dates to turn into second dates and second to third and boyfriend to girlfriend to marriage. Let's consider marriage to be the sale. This to me is Twitter done wrong. So how do we do Twitter right? You'll have to stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember, smallbusinessdream.com.